Generic greetings. I'm back. Um, uh, okay, that's right. Yep. Just remembering where I left off. It's been maybe like two or three days. One or two. I don't remember exactly. But yes, I am back and here with more daily Minecraft loaf. Um, so this is, you know, school. I'll be picking up basically just right where I left off, I guess. I'll just sort of, you know, go. Um, I think I'll expand the area, um, get the iron in the process, that seems like as good a thing to do as any, uh, and give myself some room to work in, um, so, uh, I should have thought to back up the world before doing this. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to be right back. I will cut away right about now and take care of that. Alright, that should be all set. Um, so, I now officially have the world backed up, so if something terrible happens, I can revert back to this point. Um... One more thing I just realized I should probably do, and I'll get back. This is real professional, I can tell. Okay, now I'm all set. Sorry about that, guys. That was just... Ineptitude spilling over from last episode, I guess. That'll be my excuse. Um, so, now I guess... Yeah, I'll get to expanding the area a bit. Um... I guess I'm sort of subconsciously making this a separate floor right about now. Um, I'll put some ah coal. Good. That is that is very good. I am. I need that. I need that rather badly. Um, I guess up here is gonna be like a shelf, and it'll be like its own floor, like up on this level with the farm and with anything else. I'll probably move the farm, but um, then down here can be another level. Um, and I just started carving out for, um, figure I'll put some, um, I can put, like, a crafting bench and some furnaces in there. That'll be good. Although I don't want it to be my primary furnace, uh, like, smelting room, uh, because, I don't know if this is too dark, I think this is too dark. Hang on, let me use some of this coal in order to light up the area uh... because... there we go, that's much better um... yeah, uh... that is one thing which I wanted to mention as well um... is the simple uh... fact which... yeah I wanted to mention um... stuff like the furnace room uh... I'm... I have plans I have... I've been planning this series for quite some time and I have I have certain ideas and plans and so on in store um, I've been working on I've been working in creative for some time um, working on various different designs and stuff and this series will probably end up sort of doubling as a tutorial sort of thing um, or maybe I might make separate tu tutorial video Blah, 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 blah. I might end up making separate tutorial videos, um, though I haven't really thought about that all that much. Um, I'm basically just gonna let it evolve as it does, and whatever, you know. If it seems as though a separate video is necessary, or, you know, worthwhile, then I might add it. Whoa! Lag! I love it. Um, so, we shall see on that level. I still am hearing lava all over the place. We'll s I, I don't know. I don't know. It makes me vaguely uncomfortable. Um, and I think I'm going to grab a shovel because I feel like using a shovel to get through this rather than um, having it take forever or whatever. 
one way or another. Um, I've got plans for a furnace room, a uh, smelting room, uh, and I will get to that basically. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm going to be getting to basically just as soon as I have the redstone to do it. Um, a smelting room, uh, I have plans for a mostly automatic, possibly eventually fully automatic tree farm. Um, uh, I can do stuff with wheat. I guess, I don't know, I haven't really got any plans for that. Basically, everything that I can automate, I'm going to be trying to automate eventually. I'm going to be putting together, you know, my own designs, and that's going to be a primary objective of mine, is putting together, you know, special, you know, individual, my, my own designs, rather than using those created by other people. I will be using specifically my own designs without, you know, I'll use individual, like, components. I'll still be using bud switches, all that other kind of garbage. Um, all the individual components on the most basic level. Um, although I'll be trying to refit those as well as necessary just to, you know, improve my knowledge of redstone and abilities and so on and so forth. But where the larger contraptions are concerned, I am going to be trying to automate everything. Everything that can be automated, I will try to automate in some fashion or another. And so that's that's part one. And part two is I will try to do all of my automating in, you know, an original fashion in with original creations rather than simply using an existing pattern. And in some cases, there might really just be only one design that actually makes any level of sense at this time with the way the game is at. Um, but um, hopefully, but basically in that in that case, um, like there's not all that much you can do with a reed farm as the game stands right now. So I'm probably just gonna, you know do the design that everyone does. Reed Farm isn't necessarily an excellent example, but it's an example. Um, and, you know, I'll see how much I can do with it, how original I can get, um, and if there is anything original that I can do with a given idea, then I will do it. Um, and ideally, I'll try and get to a... Um, end result through my own means one way or another um, and if I end up getting to the same thing that somebody else already made then I will try to make it not through simply copying that person but simply through having you know come up with the same uh, answer to the same problem just because that's what makes sense uh, so if that made any sense at all, um, that's where I'm generally going with it. Um, I'll try to be a little bit more productive now. Um, and I'm, it's looking like I'm probably going to have to stand around and wait for wheat to grow. Sooner or later, um, I'm watching my hunger bar slowly go down, and obviously I don't have anything else to eat. So that will be fun. But um, when and if I do get to that point, I will be, you know, waiting and that won't make for good viewing entertainment, so unless I have a lot of stuff to talk about, um, which I might, I've got a bunch of stuff that I could potentially talk about, but I want to kind of save some of it just so that I can, you know, fill time later as it becomes more and more necessary. I'm, in t I'm going to be attempting some really big projects, so I'm probably going to need a lot of time, you know, just sitting there doing basically what I'm doing right now, hollowing out area, or doing repetitive tasks repetitively, yeah, or so on and so forth. Um, and that might, you know, I, I'll edit out a bunch of it, I'll, you know, try and get as creative with editing as possible, but I also do want to try and maintain commentary whenever I can, so I'll try and, you know, make it interesting one way or another. That's not for you to worry about, that's for me. Um, I'm trying to just, you know, this is actually also partially me trying to get straight what I'm doing here. Uh, 
Um, because I am just starting this series, I really don't even know exactly where it's going quite yet. Um, this is look, turning into a nice little area now, isn't it? Huh, good times. All right. Um, how about let's make... I did it. I did it! And count how many seconds in. I already did it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to make this its own little room here. Um, eventually I'll probably make this a bit more open, but for now, here's... And I, here will be a room. Um, I don't know what I'll put here, but I'll open it up into a nice little room. Maybe a bedroom. That might be cool. I'll need to head up to the surface to grab some sheep's wool. Um, and ideally some sheep. Um, if I can set up a farm, that would be better. But um, we shall see. I should probably... Uh, yeah, I guess. I'll set up a furnace, then I will smelt this iron once again. Five, that's freaking uh, three wasted uses. Well, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so let's see. Where am I at? Uh,. Well, I do have some very long-term goals for the series as well. Um, I might as well discuss. Uh, this was actually something I hoped to do with my last LP that, you know, kind of fell flat on its face well before I got to this stage. Um, but I do want to get to the end, um, and I might try and get there as fast as possible. I don't know. Um, it's going to be, you know interesting perhaps but I will try and um, I am going to be trying to get to the end and relatively expediently um, and then once I get there I have some interesting plans um, now I have no idea how common this is or if it's just general practice nowadays um, I have not actually heard of it being done although I think I might have seen screenshots screenshots from people who've done it or so on and so forth if I'm making an idiot out of myself by you know claiming to do something original when it's just you know the thing that people do then you know whatever but I can't wait to get to the end then go way off you know far away from the dragon to the point that he's no longer aggroed um, or, you know, to, to the point that I'm not within his range, the chunks aren't loaded, whatever needs to happen so that, you know, the boss health bar disappears and, you know, I've escaped his tyrannical, clu tyrannical clutches and so on and so forth. Um, and at that point, I will pull out the saplings and, um, enormous amounts of dirt and, you know, Red, huge amounts of redstone, all that kind of garbage. Basically, lots and lots of renewable resources, and then as many other non-renewable resources as I can carry with me, um, including obsidian for an enchantment table, um, and you know, plenty of diamonds, that kind of thing. Basically, I will play it like Skyblock. I will pretend that I am playing Skyblock only in the end, and the end goal of this, you know, little skyblock sort of thing will be, um, actually going back to the mainland and defeating the Ender Dragon. And if at any time I fail, either by falling off or by confronting the dragon prematurely, I will, you know, I won't be particularly happy, but I will take advantage of that as an opportunity to, um, restock on supplies, uh, grab more diamonds, more, you know, more of anything that I might need, and go in once again better prepared. So that's the general idea there, and I'm really excited, so I really want to make it happen. Uh, right now I have no idea what I'm doing though. So... Hmm. I guess... Um, I kind of just need to keep digging in just random directions, hoping that I hit something. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to start cutting. I'm not sure if I want to. 
I guess I'll just go until I don't have the hunger left to keep going, and then I will come up and wait at my farm, and <laughs> maybe I'll just start talking about random things. I jotted down some notes earlier when watching Kurt J. Mac videos um, about things that I could talk about for the heck of it if I felt like talking about random things. Um, so failing, you know, the whole talking about the game thing, which I'm going to try and prioritize, um, I'll talk more about the game when I'm actually doing stuff, when I'm embarking on a project, I guess I'll, you know, talk more about that. Um, but right now I'm really still kind of in the very beginning stages, so I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with a lot of this. So, I guess, um, I can do some more generic question answering, that kind of thing. Establish my personality for all of you watching for that for some reason. Then again, I mean, Minecraft is just a game that many, many, many people have played, so... I guess there's no real reason to be watching this unless you are interested in my personality in particular. Uh, which is an interesting thing, which, you know, I don't know. One way or another, um, whatever the reason, you're watching my videos, and so I guess you're interested in me. Uh, and if that's an inaccurate conclusion, then I'm sorry, but I guess you're gonna end up having to withstand me talking about myself a bit now because I've decided that I'm going to do it. So, um, ah, to hunger. I was kind of thinking I might hit bedrock. I must be close. Yeah, look at that. Fog. Void fog is closing in rather noticeably. Um, two hunger bars though. I'm just gonna, you know, yeah, one and a half. I'm, I'm, I don't have stairs. I'm just gonna go ahead and start waiting. So, let's see, do I have my um, notes around here someplace? Yeah, here we go. Um, well, um, I was trying to list off um, some of the things that I wanted to automate, for one thing. Uh, visuals are gonna get really boring here. Um, that's just gonna be, you know, I don't know what I'll do with it, but maybe I'll... I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, probably put more stupid snarky comments or something on top of the video as I'm talking, just, you know, to make it a little more interesting to watch. Or maybe I'll put up, like, a slideshow or something, I don't know. Um, anyway, I was trying to list off the things that I wanted to automate. Um, so, you know, a sugarcane farm would be cool, a wheat farm would be cool, I was looking at a tree farm. And I've only seen a few good designs, and I think I might be able to improve on them. Um, mushrooms? I was really, really trying hard to find a good way of farming mushrooms. Aside from, you know, the excruciatingly manual plant mushroom, grow it with bone meal, then manually destroy the entire thing. Um... Then probably find another place to plant the next mushroom, even because apparently now it grows only on. Uh, apparently now mushrooms only grow on mycelium, and not the ordinary dirt blocks that they would turn mycelium blocks into if you grew giant mushrooms on them. If that makes any sense, it's annoying, and I don't know how I'm gonna get around it right now. Um, and I wasn't able to come up with any good designs, which is frustrating. But we shall see. I will continue to work on it. Um, I was debating the idea of a cobblestone generator. Probably not, because in the overworld, at least, I'm going to have plenty of cobblestone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be building underground, primarily, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, and I might do it in the end. Um, in fact, I'll probably do it in the end, just because of the um, whole gimmick that I'm doing there. Um... Cactus is always good. I'll see if I can come up with a better thing than the standard um, medium yield farm where half the items get destroyed. That's a pet peeve of mine. I don't know how I'd be able to improve it, but I'll give it my best shot. Um, melons and pumpkins. I might toy with the you know possibility of getting it fully automatic for those things. Um, not even requiring a button press or anything, but as the mo as the melon or pumpkin grows, it gets harvested. 
I've done it in the past, but the design I used was gigantic, so I'll be trying to improve that, I think. Potatoes and carrots, I have no idea what's going on with them. I think they're mostly like wheat. I haven't actually tried out the um, snapshots yet, though, or anything, so I don't really know. Um, and I'll basically be dealing with those as I come across them. And then cocoa beans. There are probably others, but I'm not thinking of them right now. Those are the, you know, vegetation-based ones. Vines. Vines are another one that I don't think I can really farm automatically now that I think about it. Hmm, I don't know. I'll give more thought to that one. Then, um, for other mobs, I'm gonna make, or, yeah, other other kinds of things. I'm gonna want to do mo various different kinds of mob farms. Um, one big hostile mob system is going to be probably integral, and I'm probably gonna have to bu start building that pretty soon. Um, that will probably be a big thing a couple episodes from now, or possibly even next episode, or maybe even this episode. I might even start carving out some land for it, um, if I get some bread before the end. Um, although it's looking like I'm filling up some time rather handily right about now. Um, uh, let's see, then cave spiders, if I find a good way of, um, uh, if, if I find a good set of spawners for the cave spiders, then that might be a good option as well. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to try and get something set up. I'll try not to copy Etho, but it seems like his might be the best, um, design available. We'll see. I'll try and get creative. Um, and with the tall mobs system, uh, I'm going to eliminate spider spawning in my main mob system, so it'll just be the tall mobs. Um, and I'll, I might try and do some sorting stuff with them. I don't know how much success I'll have. I'll need to do research into that. Um, and by research, I'll mean, I basically mean experimenting, probably in this LP, with mob properties and so on and so forth. I definitely want an Enderman farm, but that might wait until, well, I'll basically have to wait until I get to the end. Um, and then it's basically down to the passive mobs, um, cows, sheep, chickens, uh, with, you know, probably, probably 16 different pens for the sheep, or I might try and get fancier in the direction of Ethos design. Um, I think I could come up with more interesting ways of doing it than he did even, so I might get ambitious and try and work with that. Otherwise, it'll probably be basic 16 pen kind of, you know, one pen per color of sheep sort of deal uh, for maximum yield. And then cows and chickens, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, we'll see. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with crafting tables. If I can do something with that, that would be cool, but, you know, like, have it hidden crafting tables around my base that, you know, I can hit a concealed button or something, step on a tripwire, or pressure plate or something, and have them sort of expose themselves, you know, block swapper style from the wall or from the floor, like Etho has. That might be cool, but I haven't given that much thought. Furnaces, however, I have, and I've got an excellent design for furnaces, which I will probably be um, working with just as soon as I get the redstone to do so. Um, then, so I, I, I don't know, that's basically, yeah, basically, TLDR, I like automating things. Um, and incidentally, on our Minecraft suggestions, um, the subreddit dedicated to um, Minecraft suggestions, as might be obvious, I have been quite active and recently came across a link to a um, Minecraft forum topic from back before 1.7. Um, which was outlining this idea that somebody had the allocator block. The allocator block. Like, I, I cannot express how much I want this in the game. I'll probably slap an annotation or something. I don't know. It's definitely in the description anyway. Check it out because it's amazing. It would revolutionize the game in the same way that Pistons did. 
and it seems like the next logical step, and I really hope it makes it into the game, preferably sometime soon, and that would totally change where I go with this Let's Play. However, um, moving right along, um, yeah, I still have a bit of time left, um, sure, why not? Random questions about me. Like, you know, right? Yeah, because everyone cares about what my favorite color is. Incidentally, my favorite color is... Um, no, I'm not sure. I haven't given it much thought. I don't really have a favorite color as such, so that's a bad question. Um, I'd say the rainbow, That's but that sounds simultaneously cliche and a bit stupid. Um, so... I guess I might go with um, cyan or like, not cyan, but like turquoise, like blue-green sort of direction. I thought her black. Not like depressed black, but like awesome black. Except not even. So I don't know. I, long story thought, lo long story short, I wrote down these questions and I didn't actually think about them. Um, planet, um, my favorite planet is probably Saturn for the heck of it I don't know that's what Kurt J Max said um it's it's an interesting question certainly and that's why I wrote it down and again I haven't thought much about it Jupiter is really cool in its own kinds of ways um and you know it's I need to do more research before I start talking about these things because I need to cite specific examples or some garbage and I just don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, basically Saturn is cool. Uranus is also quite neat with its, you know, inverted. I'm a huge freaking astronomy geek and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a big astronomy geek and I'm spacing on, you know, astronomy facts. <sighs> All right. Um, my favorite doctor. Um, my favorite doctor would almost prob. I don't know. It's it's kind of split between um Tom Baker, who I think was. Damn it! Was he fourth or fifth doctor or something? I don't remember. I don't remember the num I don't remember the numbers, but I remember that it's Tom. B Tom Baker is cool. Tom Baker is quite cool, and I respect him a lot. However, that having been said. David Tennant is amazing, and they're they're both perfect f for their characters in totally different ways. So Tenth Doctor and like I don't know, Fourth or Fifth Doctor I can't remember. Might be something totally different. Probably a snarky comment has already come up saying what it actually is. Um, Star Trek series character. This is another toughie. Um. And this one didn't come from Kurt J. Mack, this one I just wrote down for the hell of it, because I wanted to introduce the fact that I like Star Trek. Um, Star Trek has a host of amazing characters. Among them, um, Jean-Luc Picard is awesome. Data is a really cool character. Um, I wouldn't... I don't know if I could say he's my favorite, though. Um... Odo from DS9 could have been a cool character, but he kind of isn't. Um, and I'm trying to think Voyager is probably my favorite series. Seven and Nine is a cool character. Um, Chakotay I can respect a lot, but the Doctor, I might have to say the Doctor from Voyager um, is definitely up there. Um... I don't know, it's it's interesting, especially because they bring in characters like Garrick in DS9, um, all these other kinds of, you know, side characters and so on that are often, you know, even more interesting than, like, I, I'd place Garrick above anyone on the main cast of DS9 easily. Um, my, f my favorite key signature is probably um, D flat um, just because it's so much fun to work in um, 
and I get it, it's an excuse to use all kinds of black keys and garbage, which sounds stupid and so on. It is stupid, but I like the sound of it, which is also kind of stupid given that all key signatures, by definition, are essentially the same. Um, actually, you know what? Let's make that um, A flat minor, just for the heck of it. Essentially, the same key signature, but uses the same. It uses the same notes, but it's a minor scale, so that's more interesting. Um, my favorite pony is probably raindrops, and my favorite flavor of ice cream is. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, really like cookie dough, but the more chocolate it has in it, the better. So that's, you know, I don't know, it's interesting. I can't decide, because I like mint too. I don't know. I don't know. But... So those are the things that I had written down, and the wheat still hasn't grown, and this episode is pushing the length that I'd want to push it to. So, um, yeah, I'll cut away here, and then cut back once the wheat has grown. Uh, that's what I'll do. So, back in a sec. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Remember to tune in next time, um, when I'll probably be making a mob system or something, I don't even know.